Hello, fans, and welcome to tonight's game between the LSU Tigers and the Georgia Bulldogs. Number 33 is the player we're focusing on in this game tonight. Brad, I think we're looking at one of the best players in the USA. Hey, baby, offense, defense, you name it, he's got it. He can do it all. He's a PT peer, a prime-time performer. The Bulldogs will have to utilize his skill to the fullest potential, Dick. And we begin with a tip-off of the first half. The Bulldogs know they're looking at a good one tonight, Dick. What are the keys for them to win? I would think that the keys are as follows. First, the point guard has to be the coach on the floor, making sure his team executes on every possession. Secondly, reward your big man. Give him the ball down low. Get him into the game. Let him be part of the offense. And finally, keep the mental mistakes to a minimum. Turnovers could be the story of this one, baby. Well, partner, I say let's get to the action on the court, and we'll see how this one plays out. Fake. Goes up for two, and off the mark. Drops the bucket despite the harm. Both teams are looking to get something going here. Dig, I think there's a mismatch in the post. You're right, Brad. There is a mismatch. Takes care of the ball until the offense resets. That's basic. With the fake. That was a high post screen. Goes to the lane. He hits the shot. <laughs> Trying to pack it inside. A high screen. Pull up jumper from way out. Oh, four, four, three. Fed the low block. Great anticipation defensively. The shooting guard with the ball. The fake. Here he comes defensively on him on the low block, Dick. I'm trying to three-quarter position, trying to deny, but then he does a great job in post position and spreading his body and getting the ball. Gave it up. There's the trap. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. He takes the shot off the baseline. Let's see the replay on that one. Inside. He fakes the shot. The point guard gets the ball. For the bucket. I tell you, does a great job getting post position. Hey, Brad, that shot's impossible to stop. It's unbelievable. It's not utilized enough. Shows patience waiting for the reset. The small forward takes the pass. Got to think right. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that blocked shot. Oh, what a great job transition. Offense, poor job defensively. Don't get back, don't stop the ball. And they were allowed to convert, get the number game going. So he'll get an opportunity to change the scoreboard again from the free throw line. Well, he created a foul opportunity. Second shot is good. Inside. There's a double team waiting there. Fakes it on the outside. Top of the circle. That's good. The replay reveals the deal, baby. Defender knocked the ball loose, but the offense got it back. Tries for two. Oh, 
The offensive guy now is gaining position down there on the low block, Dick. I tell you, he gained big time position by getting the good angle, the good arm entry, had the real extension. The ball goes out of play. No, no, no. Dick, I don't know if the glass is half empty or half full, but it's about half full in here. Yeah, it's about half full right now. That doesn't give you that emotional setting that you like as a home court. The ball goes out of bounds. The defender is still applying great blow pressure, Brad. On the elbow, they feed down to the low block. Arrington is pretty fired up and excited. Well, you know, Brad. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. LSU are putting together a pretty good run here. Execution's been the key, baby. There appears to be a mismatch in the post. Let's see if they can get him the ball. The small forward takes the feed. He shoots from the baseline. Off the rim and no good. Sets the screen for his teammate. Number one with the fake. He looks at the hoop. They go with the entry pass on the post. Turnaround jumper. I want to thank you for joining us tonight with Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews. I'm Brad Nessler. The center gets the pass. Dickie's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. On the dribble, gives it up. Has it rejected? Defense did a great job with that block shot and drains it. Looking for a good shot with a deep shot from outside. You bet you. And he'll kick it back outside. He stole the ball. Great pressure there. Fantastic ball pressure. The pressure got to the ball handler, and he lost it. Shot goes up and in. Hey, there's just too much space. Gave it up. On the dribble, gives it up. He looks for three. He buries it. They work the perimeter. Gets a hand in the way. He'll regroup the offense. Jump hook from the low block. Doesn't go. He keeps the dribble as they reset. Run him right at the screen again. What did I say? LSU are showing signs of a good run here, Dick. They look like they put it together for a moment. Hey, let's see how long they can keep it up. He takes a three. That was nice. Get that sucker out of the game, man. I sometimes wonder what it would be like to be a Skywalker. Elevating and throwing it down, Mr. Nestler. How much fun would that be? Moving it around the perimeter. And the fans are going wild. The man is off the charts, Brad. That's why I love this game, Dick, for that reason alone. This place is rocking and rolling, baby. Leans in, drains the shot. You don't get any points for the replay, but it still looks great. Buries 
at home. Good fake. There they come with a double team to stop it. Questionable call. The layup's good and one, Dick. Hey, that's good concentration. Taking the ball hard to the hoop, knowing that someone's going to hack you. If you want to know how aggressive a team is, you check to see how many times they go to the free throw line. That's a great indicator. Look at the basket. Shoots from outside. He drains it. In the paint. Looking for the foul. He keeps the concentration off the contact for the score. Looking to move it around the perimeter. Gave it up. He attempts the trifecta. Shot didn't fall in, but it was a great use of the screen. Up and inside. Nice fake. He goes up with it. Jumper won't go. Up and inside. Looking for contact. He puts it in with contact and all. That was really a nonchalant pass. Get that sucker out of the game, man. <laughs> Almost lost the basketball. And he's going to pick up the foul. And oh, look at the look on his face. I'll tell you what, he's disgusted, but so is his coach. He goes to the line for the first time. First one, good. Got them both. He converts on that free throw line, and that's major. Fronts him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously, but they don't have the great respect. So they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. Dickie's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. That's one of the things I absolutely love about college basketball, Dick, the atmosphere. You're right. The student sections, the bands, and the crowd are always urging their team to victory like a sixth man. He wants the crowd to get pumped up, Dick. He is feeling it. Hey, hey, he wants everyone to get up. High post flasher is open. Cross court. He looks for the bomb. They're dialing trees up like nothing right now. Hey, this is awesome to watch, baby. Double team now, bad angle. They'll work it around the arc. Shots there if he wants it. He bombs from outside. I don't think that's the guy they want shooting that shot. Yeah, that's horrible, Mr. Nestler. Horrible shot selection. Both teams looking to get things going here. Boy, it's all elbows and shoulders down there, and I think the defense is winning, Dick. I tell you, doing a great job in post-defense. A lot of people don't realize that is an area that has to be taught, and this kid has responded in a positive way. Perfectly executed. Two. Can't get the shot to go. Another turnover. And we're not talking apple turnovers either. 
Great elevator man, man. That's the elevator guy. What a high riser. The Bulldogs have a mismatch in the post. They need to get him the ball there. Dick, not a bad drop step, but it doesn't work for him. I tell you, just doesn't beat him to the basket. Not quick enough. And a great reaction by the defensive post play. Let's check in courtside with Aaron Andrews. Aaron? Brad, the bench seems pretty confused down here. There is a lot of encouragement from his teammates, but they haven't found a way to get him going. And in order to hold on to this lead, they need to find a way and fast. All right, thanks, Aaron. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. He shoots from downtown. That was a great, great effort right there. Trying to play that passing lane. Anticipating really well. Oh, that's going to be a costly turnover there. I'll tell you, turnovers can absolutely destroy a team. Takes away the pass. Entry pass in the paint. Trying to draw some contact. Roll that replay ready, boys. Dick, when I see those types of things, I just get chills. I'll tell you, Brad, those schools with the best home records probably have incredible school pride. They don't go with the six-man for no reason. On the dribble, gives it up, goes up for two. Great play to take that to the basket. Turnaround jumper. I tell you, what a nice turnaround jump shot. Soft as velvet, fading away, impossible to block. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. Tries for two. Georgia are on a run right here as of late, Dick. Yeah, they've started to put it together on offense. Can they keep it together, though? That is the question. Now the turnaround jumper. Nothing but nylon. Nice, smooth turnaround jumper. The only negative, he's falling away. If he misses, he's got no rebound in the building. Gave it up. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. Goes up for two. Perfectly executed. He missed on the steal. That's going to be the offense's game. Yes, sir. They got the advantage right there once he misses that gamble. On the dribble, gives it up. Three. Oh, yes. Rucker wants the crowd to get fired up and involved. He wants everyone up for the next possession. For the bucket, and he scores it off the glass. The stroke. The crowd will be on cloud nine if they can put some points up on the board. Decided against the open post and reverses the ball. Got to take some pride on the defensive end. Oh, what a strip, Red. 
No matter how you describe it, a stop here will excite all of the fans. Tries for two. Look at that guy. There, that's more like my stuff. Wow. Little Barishnikov right there. You always were a dancer. <laughs> Great steal. Defensive player was really right on top of that basketball. He should have an easy bucket here, Brad. Trying to draw the foul. They're lighting it up from the field right now, Dick. They're in a dangerous rhythm, my friend. Dangerous. Dangerous for the defense if they keep it up. Isolated on the outside. They're working around the arc looking for the open jumper. They work the perimeter. Here's a nice face up down in the low block. Oh, he did a great job face up and then just attacked them and took it to the basket. He throws it up from downtown. They are red hot from behind the arc, Dick. They're rolling on all cylinders right now. Well, let's see who will benefit the most out of that timeout, Dick. Gave it up. Great pressure, great double team. Really explosive. Steal. On the dribble, gives it up. He beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Footwork really excellent on a post play. All right, let's check in third member of our team again. Here's Aaron Andrews. Well, guys, the battle in the paint has played a major factor in this game and is probably some of the reason why they have this lead. If things don't change in a hurry, this game could get ugly, guys. Aaron's right about that, Dick. I'll tell you one thing. She's essentially right. Down in the post is where you create a lot of offensive action. I tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle. Was locked. It's a hoop and a foul. He showed good concentration on possession, Brad. He's mocking the crowd. Now that's throwing salt on the wound. The fans are definitely going to be annoyed with him. Oh, oh Mr. Nestler, that's a no no. He'll go to the line. He buries it. That line is really being good to him tonight, Dick. That line's always good, Brad. These guys just have to make good use of it. Overplays on the pass, and he didn't get the steal. Oh, he's humiliated. Poor job defensively. They work it around the perimeter. He unloads a three. Man, he ran his man right into the screen to get off that nice jumper. And momentary look from three-point land. Makes the shot. You guys got the replay ready up there. Here we go. Gave it up. Problem with that when you front, if you don't get some backside help, you're in trouble. Well, you gotta get help because you gotta see ball, man. That's essential when you play on there and you're fronting. Let's see if they go two for one here, Dick. On the dribble, gives it up, tries a three. He gets the bucket to fall. Dickie's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. Shot clock is dead. With the jump hook. 
I tell you, the jump hook so effective, especially against a big post player. Very difficult to block that shot. Goes up for two. I love this guy hook. You cannot block that shot. He gets that ball in deep. Hey, Brown, why don't more guys use it? At halftime, the Bulldogs are trailing by 10. This one's too close to call here at the end of the first. Dick, do you have a highlight of the half? In my opinion, Mr. Nessler, this trifecta is what set the tone for the offense in the first half. It represents the deep arsenal of threats this team has to offer. Let's get back to the action and see what happens. Georgia is not hitting the boards with any kind of efficiency in the first half. I agree, partner. They're getting beat to the punch almost every time. Our focus player update, Dick Vitale, going into the second half. What does he need to do, do you think? I think they ought to set some screens for him, a little double screens. He's a great shooter, but he's not getting the opportunity. I think his teammates have to screen for him. Gave it up. He goes up strong, and that's going to be an offensive foul. Oh, great call by the official. He beat him to the spot. That's essential defensively. They go inside, and now back outside. I tell you, inside-outside action always works. Working it around the perimeter. Time to pick up the defense here now. On the dribble, gives it up for the bucket. Easy one. The Tigers are up by 10. Looking to move it around the perimeter. Tries for two. Goes. He's going to muscle it on the inside. What an explosive move to the goal. No wasted time. He had his mind made up. He was attacking the basket. Looking for a good shot. He squares up down on the low block. I tell you, teach your player to face up. You get in triple threat position. You can drive, shoot, or you can pass. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. Makes the move and goes up strong, but that's an offensive foul. Dude. He's out of control, baby, out of control. And Dick, this is just playing good defense. Really does a great job with his footwork, beating him to the spot. I tell you, once you get deep position like that, it's automatic. The Tigers have a mismatch in the post. Can they get him the ball, though? Here's a double team. And the ball goes out of bounds. We thought this game would be a sellout, Dick, and it's not. I'll tell you, a lot of empty seats here. It's only half full. High post flashes. This defender is resilient. Still applying pressure. He takes the shot from the baseline. Keep your eye right on the ball here. The defender right on his hip, and I think he's holding his ground, Dick. Doing a great He'll go to the line after that vicious dunk, Dick. Vicious is right, Brad. That dunk brought me right out of my seat, baby. Good teams will get to the line often, but getting there is half the battle. You then must convert your free throws. Looking for a good shot. Goes for the deep one. He gets the bucket. The Tigers lead by nine. 
Coach looks on, focused, a lot of intensity, a lot of emotion. Now they work it around the perimeter. They'll work it around the arc. Isolated on the outside, they work it around the arc, looking for the open jumper. Turns it over. Gave it up. He dials long distance. That is a dagger in the heart, that shot, Dick. Hey, they lost focus here. They need a timeout to regroup, Brad. Down in the low post defensively. Great anticipation in the steal. You can see they did a great job studying in film. They anticipated that ball coming to that post. He's got a high post flasher. Gets it back out. Steals a pass. Change in possession. The defense knocked it loose, then went and got it. Oh, and you can see the frustration as he picks up the foul. Oh, that's a bad, bad foul right there, Brad. I think it's important to get to the free throw line, Brad. It demonstrates that you're playing aggressively and that you're not settling for the jumper. Both free throws go. Defensively doing a great job down there, and he's winning that battle there. I think it's very essential that you establish post position by moving that offensive player out, and that's how he's winning that battle. Great play to take that to the basket. Got a nice screen. Perfectly executed. I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. From left of the circle, he makes the shot. There's a double team waiting there. As the fans chant. Well, ultimately, the goal is to win. The crowd feels as though they are a big part of it, too. And there's a look at the backcourt comparison, Dick. Out there, Brad, you always want to know how the primary ball handlers are doing. Are they getting their team's quality shots, good opportunities? The team which takes care of these things usually is in a better position to win a game. He beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Footwork really excellent on a post play. They work it around the perimeter. And now they'll bring it up. Offense gets it back after that ball was knocked loose. There's the pick. There's the roll. The frustration right there. On the dribble, gives it up. Takes the pass in the paint for two. Can't get the shot to go. That was like a NASCAR wreck and no whistle. Wow, no call. You like that NASCAR? Hey, where's Mr. Petty? Too slow to stay with his man, Dick, and he picks up the foul. Well, two mistakes. Number one, he lets him get the ball in that deep. And number two, he doesn't have any footwork and doesn't move and beat him to the spot. And he'll kick it back outside. He's got the man in the high post if he can get it there. Picked off. He wants a three, gets it to go. Tight 
Tempo in a game, really important here. You want to establish some good tempo. He got off the nice shot off the dribble by running the defender into that solid screen. Looking to move it around the perimeter. Up and inside. Great defensive play. Anticipated well. When you're an anticipator, you got a chance to do well. A lot of guys, they're reactors. If you're a reactor, you're one step behind the action. Tries to turn, the defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop that spin move. Here's a block from behind. My man was on a mission. Got the high pick. That's good. The Tigers are ahead by 13. He looks for three. Goes in. How about an instant replay? Terry look from three-point land. They strip him in a basketball. Got a little too fancy. Too much mustard there, baby. Jumps into the defender. Basket falls despite the contact. We work it around the perimeter. Pushing that basketball. Gave it up. Dickey's going to go up strong. Oh, that's a terrific post play. Didn't waste any time attacking the basket. Dick, they're doing a great job defensively down there in the low block. I tell you, what a great job on a defensive player. He's winning the battle on the interior because he's beating him to the spot. Oh. Up and inside. High post screen. Goes up for two. Big man spins down, draws the foul, and gets the basket. He's into it. Win, baby. That's his name. I like that in a player. He goes to the line for the first time. Good. They're making good use of their free throw opportunities tonight. Good free throw shooting teams seem to always give themselves a chance to win. There's the trap. Moving it around the perimeter. He shoots from the angle. Way off target. Looking for a good shot. High post screen. So effective that screen. And now the fadeaway jumper. I tell you, great footwork too to create that opportunity. And then he's got the touch. What an offensive play. Way out on top, controlling the ball. Puts it up, looking for contact. That double team's too weak, Brad. Well, oh, they ran through that like it wasn't there. Picks off the pass. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. They'll work it around the arc. He tries to knock down the three. Looks like only a miracle can salvage this one, Dick. I'd have to agree with you, partner. Time's running out. Nicky's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing. He's trying to deny him the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing him off. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. 
it's even more important to have talented oh, guards that they have. Yeah, that helps. Let's go courtside. What do you got for us, Aaron? Brad, before the game, the coaching staff told me they worried this situation could happen. They told me it's so important for the supporting cast to get involved and not rely on one player. Right now, the coaches are trying to get everyone on the bench on the same page, guys. Thanks, Aaron. He didn't have the good angle. They should have got it to him about a second earlier. And he's going to pick up the foul and all oh, look at the look on his face. I'll tell you what, he's disgusted, but so is his coach. How important is it to get to the free throw line? Well, you know, those bonus points, Brad, you get those simple points. They add up at the end. Plus, you get people into foul trouble. Got them both. Oh, he drained it. Nothing but nylon, MBN. From the top of the circle. Screen was there, but the shot didn't fall. Got to make that baby. Had that wide open angle. Had the chance to lay it on a glass for an easy deuce. Puts it on the floor and up and under. I did a great job of the ball fake that created the up and under move. And good footwork. It's essential with an up and under move to utilize good footwork. Unloads. He hits it. They work the perimeter. They've left him completely alone. Trying to stay with him defensively. Down he goes. Oh, what an acting job. There's no doubt in my mind he's fluffing, baby. Isn't that something? He wants these fans to get pumped up and get excited. He wants the roof to pop off this arena. My goodness. He's saying, get up, people. Get up. On the dribble, gives it up. Picks off the lazy pass. Up and inside. Jumped in front to take it away. Oh, and you can see the frustration as he picks up the foul. Oh, that's a bad, bad foul right there, Brad. With the freebie. He sinks it. Two at the charity strike. Intercepted. Working it around the perimeter. Tries for two. Great play to take that to the basket. Picked out of the air. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in. Did a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. right there trying to play that passing lane anticipating really well for two perfectly executed There they come with a double team to stop it. He attempts the three, scorches the net. They work it around the perimeter, gave it up. Double team now, bad angle. He goes for three, sinks it. We gotta see that one again. He 
shoots from the top of the key. Off the rim and no good. Goes up for two. Great play to take that to the basket. Entry pass in the paint. Good job defensively. They just won't get many openings. Pressure in the basketball. Ten seconds showing on the shot clock. From the top of the key. Nice job of using the screen to get open for that good shot. This one could be over. That's all she wrote, Brad. This one is a done deal. Intercepted. On the dribble, gives it up. I tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. Foul charge. Oh, and you can see the frustration as he picks up the foul. Oh, that's a bad, bad foul right there, Brad. I like it when the team gets to the free throw line. It shows that they're being aggressive. The key is to get to the line early in the game and off it. can't miss free throws, Dick. It's going to kill you somewhere down the line. Well, you got to convert. That's the one thing like football special situations. you got to be able to execute there. And one too many dribbles and a steal. There was no doubt about that one. Gave it up. Controlling the ball. He takes it away. And now in transition, going the other way. Isolated on the outside. They work it around the arc, looking for the open jumper. He's open if he wants the shot. They just can't seem to miss. They've had a serious stroke with their shooting, Brad. On the inside. Great pressure, great double team. Really explosive. Now they run the other way. Buries it. Turn around jumper. And in and out. He gets the board. Fans are still waiting for something big to happen. There he is, strips the ball loose. Tries for two. Perfectly executed. Steals a pass. They get out on the break. Terrific block shot, though. He's a dominator blocking shots on the interior. And he scores despite the hack. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. come trying to run again there's a slam here's a double team he intercepts it
10 on the shot clock. He draws a foul. Wow, Dick, let's check out that State Farm drive of the game. Hey, what a great move, Brad. He was able to find an opening and finish at the basket. That's a great finish. Highlight material, baby. Mr. Vitale, let's take a look at our backcourt production. Hey, I'll tell you one thing, Brad. You look at the stats, you want to find out if your backcourt is playing well. Well, you want to ensure that your guards keep the number of turnovers down. That's a must. Reduce turnovers. So many games are won and lost by teams turning the ball over. Turnovers, missed opportunities happen, baby, when you turn the rock over. Georgia could not escape this blowout tonight. After a game like that, it's hard to believe that these two teams were close in the standings. That's going to do it for us, folks. Thanks for being along. For Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews, I'm Brad Nessler.